When we look at the moon over a period of month, we see that the shape of moon doesn't remain the same. It changes. This is called phases of moon. Now, we shall see with the help of this model, why do we see those phases of moon? So in this model, of the earth and this is our moon. Okay? There are two major differences between the real moon and this moon. First thing is that we have a ring here, whereas in the real moon there is no such ring. But the meaning of putting this ring here is that whatever is on to this side of the ring will be seen by an observer on the earth here. But whatever is on to the other side of the ring will not be seen by the observer on the earth. So that's the meaning of the ring here. And second thing, we have used two colors, black and white to the moon. Our moon is not a luminous object like our sun. It can only reflect the sunlight. So the meaning of putting this white and black color here is that this white portion represents that portion of the moon which is always lit by the sun. And this black portion represents that portion which is not receiving the sunlight. So as of now we are seeing that this entire part of the moon is being lit by the sun. So this tells us that this should be the direction of the sun. So there is the sun, sunlight comes and here it is illuminating the moon. But what is being observed by the person on the earth here? Complete black part. Okay. So he will not be seeing any part of the illuminated moon from the earth. So this situation is that of new moon. And then what happens? The moon doesn't stay there. It goes around the earth. Okay. So as it goes around the earth, only then we will be seeing different portions of the illuminated part of the moon. And that's why we see different shapes there. Now let us make our moon go around the earth. As it moves in its uh, orbit, around the earth, we now see that a little portion of the illuminated part of the moon will be visible to the observer on the earth. This is called crescent. As the moon moves in its orbit, we see that the size grows. We call that it is the waxing phase. Okay? Now it has become half. We call this as the first quarter and then as it proceeds in its orbit around the earth, we see slightly more than half. That's called as gibbous moon. Every phase between half and full is called gibbous. It is still gibbous now. When it comes here, we see that the entire illuminated region of the moon will be visible to the person who is standing on the earth. This situation is called full moon. After this instant, what happens? The moon is not stationary there. It keeps on moving. So that's why we call that as instant. Then what happens? It's again gibbous, but now it is reducing in size. So this part we call it as waning. Okay. Now it is reducing. It's waning gibbous. And when it comes here, it's again half. This is called the last quarter of the moon. It appears like a half moon to us. And then as it proceeds in its orbit around the earth, we see that as crescent. The crescent that we see here in the waning phase is not the same crescent that we see in the waxing phase. Now again as it continues in its orbit, it again comes back here. And once again, we have the situation of new moon. So thus, with the help of this model, we have seen that as the moon, a non-luminous object, goes around the earth, we see more and more of its illuminated part for something like 15 days period. You call that as waxing. And then we start seeing less and less of that illuminated uh, part of the moon. We call that as waning. So this is about the phases of the moon.